everybody welcome to the impressive channel um, my heart goes out to all of Texas right now um, specifically the areas that were affected by Hurricane Harvey there are many cities that were affected not just Houston also I'm here in Port Arthur is underwater as we speak right now so a lot has been going on but there are people who are coming out to support Beyonce who's a Houston native actually released a statement saying my heart goes out to my hometown Houston and I remain in constant prayer for those affected and for the rescuers who have been so brave and determined to do so much to help. I am working closely with my team at Be Good as well as my pastor Rudy Rasmus at St. John's in downtown Houston to implement a plan to help as many as we can. Also, Drake wrote a statement saying this, We are currently overseas in London and all I can think about is how devastated I am as I look at images of the damage Hurricane Harvey has caused. I am praying for the safety of all those affected. Houston has truly been a home to me for the last eight years. Myself and Future the Prince are working with local relief help groups to aid and assist the people of Texas in any way we can in the most immediate way possible. I also want to thank all the men women of service and volunteers for their courageous efforts to help people in need. I encourage everyone to do what they can to assist the people of Texas, knowing whatever effort you can make to help will go a long way. Also, comedian Kevin Hart encouraged a lot of his celebrity friends to donate money to help the victims of Hurricane Harvey, and a lot of them were very responsive. Uh serious moment right now. I've just been caught up to speed on everything that's going on in Houston with Hurricane Harvey and this shit is unbelievable. Uh, I think we participated in a lot of challenges on the internet. Some meaningful, some meaningless, but we've all done them. I've been a person that's partaken in several of them. At this point, I'm going to start a real challenge. I'm challenging a lot of my celebrity friends to follow my lead and donating $25,000 to Hurricane Harvey, to the Red Cross, okay? At this point, this is a serious matter. I think the people are in bad shape and they need help. I'm gonna lead the charge and stepping up in this way. I challenge The Rock, Steve Harvey, Chris Rock, uh, Dave Chappelle, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Justin Timberlake, Jerry Seinfeld, and I think when you do it, you all should tag somebody else. 25,000 is coming from me. You know, anytime our country gets hit hard with a natural disaster like Hurricane Harvey, which is Mother Nature at her strongest wrath, completely devastating the great city of Houston, you know, that kind of stuff has a way of bringing us together as a country. Regardless of race and politics, we all want to step up to the plate, do everything we can to help out our brothers and sisters and families in need. Kevin Hart, you issued the Hurricane Harvey Challenge. I appreciate you, brother. I just donated my $25,000 to the Red Cross. My companies are donating money. I want to send a message to the people of Houston. You got to stay strong and you got to hold on to faith. I know what you're going through. I went through it. My family went through it. We went through Hurricane Andrew, which was a Category 5 hurricane. The eye of that storm crossed directly over us. It was devastating. We survived and we got stronger and so will you. I'm not going to call out my celebrity friends. You guys already know what to do in terms of donating money. But to the people out there, if you could donate a buck or two to redcross.org, 1-800-RED-CROSS, I would appreciate it. Houston would appreciate it. Houston, stay strong and hold on to faith. I wanted to take the time to just send out all of my prayers and condolences and support to everybody that's in the Houston, Texas, Louisiana, New Orleans area that's being hit by this tragic storm, Hurricane Harvey. I also want to take the time to commend Kevin Hart for his initiative with the um, Hurricane Harvey Challenge. I want to say I accept that challenge. We'll donate 25000 Thank you, Kevin, for what you're trying to do. And I think we should all support Kevin's initiative. So right now, I want to unleash Team Love. Team Love, y'all out there by the drones. And everybody's a part of Team Love. And you don't have to be a celebrity. It doesn't matter who you are. If you could give a dollar, a blanket, some food, do something. Let's just do something now. Let's not talk about what we can do. Let's get the relief process going. Make sure that if you donate anything, you can click the link on my bio right now. And you can donate whatever you would like to donate. It's all accepted. Make sure you do hashtag Team Love. And Kevin, thank you. And we support you. I'm here in Atlanta. My heart is in Houston. Oof. And I want to applaud Kevin Hart for um, calling on some of the people that he knows who might have a few extra dollars to donate. Um, you know, me and my family donated. Chris Brown, 
gave a king's ransom, you know. Um, and it's not over. On TV, they're saying that uh, Harvey is back tonight. I can't take my eyes off the news. Do you want to donate? Because you should, if it's $5, that's fine. But, you know, we are our brother's keepers, especially in a natural disaster like this. Um, DJ Khaled donated 25000 Nicki Minaj donated 25000 Chris Brown donated $100,000. Um, Sandra Bullock actually donated $1 million, which is amazing. The Kardashian family donated $500,000, which is also amazing. Um, and so many celebrities did donate and help, and I think that's awesome. Thank you to all my friends, man, for participating and helping me uh, raise this money. Wendy Williams, DJ Khaled, The Rock, The Chainsmokers, Nicki Minaj, Chris Brown, T.I., um, uh, I think I said Chris Paul, um, uh, Candy Burris. I mean, there's so many people. More importantly, the effort behind your donation is what's important to me, and that's the thought. The thought and heart that goes with this movement and moment is what it's all about. So to the people of Houston and all of Texas that are going through this, understand you're not by yourselves. We are with you. Keep your heads up. Keep faith. Also, everybody that's worried about me going with the Red Cross, understand I am working very closely with my team to make sure that all of this money goes exactly where it's supposed to, okay? Red Cross are the first responders. They're the ones on the scene at the site of the incident with food, water, shelters, uh, medical, etc. So let's be patient and let's build together. Uh, it's funny because comedian Michael Blackston also challenged his Z-lister friends to donate as well. I'd like to give a big shout out to Kevin Hart and The Rock, all them A-list celebrities, for sending $25,000 to Houston. But just because you don't have $25,000 doesn't mean you have to send nothing at all. Today, I'm challenging all these Z-list celebrities that look rich but are broke. People like myself. J to Z, I challenge all of you right now. DC on Flat, $50, send it right now. Joe Buttons, I challenge you to send $45. Young Jock, come on, I know you got $35. All the housewives of basketball wives that used to have money with niggas that have money and have no money now. All of you sent $32. All the love and hip hop bitches. No disrespect or due respect. I have no respect. All of you sent $16 each. All the cast of Wild and Out besides Nick Cannon. All your broke niggas that act rich sent $10. Please, Bawa, I know you're on your private jet. Stop over, send $5. Bobby V, we don't want your money. I appreciate all the Z-list celebrities that accepted my challenge and sent money to Houston. Now it's time to reach out to the athletes. Kevin Hart, I need to reach out to the A-list athletes. I'm going to reach out to the Z-list athletes later on today. Thank you. <laughs> and football player Justin James actually helped raise $6 million for the Hurricane Harvey victims, and I think that's awesome. I want to give a bit of a more detailed update as to what's going on right now. Uh, we just crossed the six million dollar mark everything's bigger in texas so i'm raising the goal to 10 million dollars please keep sharing please keep donating i can't thank you enough every little thing helps just because the storm is receding doesn't mean we can stop raising money um, i want you to know that when i say houston i mean all the surrounding areas as well rockport victoria we're going to try and help as many people as we possibly can and throughout this entire process i'm going to keep you guys updated i want you to know exactly where your money's going i want you to know that it's going directly to the people so the first process that we have going on is we're filling up semi-trucks. Semi-truck drivers have donated their time, their trucks, people are donating, businesses are donating, and then we're using your money to purchase water, generators, food, clothing, cleaning supplies, things like that. And then we're gonna set up shop in a few different areas around Houston. My teammates are gonna help me distribute those materials so that we can get this directly to the people. I'll keep you guys updated as we go. Houston, stay strong. But of course, there's always a negative Nancy, well, in this case, a negative Nathaniel. Um, Master Pete was saying that Kevin Hart should not convince people to donate if they don't want to. That Kevin Hart made a donation, but I feel like he don't have to do that because it's not necessary. I mean, a lot of people are going to do what they want to do. It's their money. It really don't matter what it is, as long as you give it from your heart. Anyway, um, rapper Bun B, he is hosting a telethon to raise money for the victims of Hurricane Harvey. And this is all wonderful. And I'm really praying for all the people who are suffering out there because it's just, 
it's heartbreaking to lose everything. Like it, it's so heartbreaking and you have nowhere to go. A lot of people are displaced and homeless right now. And so they need shelters. And the pastor of Lakewood Church, Joel Austin, was under fire for initially not opening his church. Now, Lakewood Church, if you know, is the biggest church in America, I believe. And it holds like 16 to 17,000 people. And the fact that, you know, he didn't open it right away had a lot of people in uproar. However, the pastor, Joel Osteen, revealed that there was a lot of flooding in the church and it was a safety hazard. So they didn't open it right away. This, this building was one foot from flooding. If we didn't have our floodgates, it would have flooded. And so it's easy to say, wow, there's that big building, they're not using it. But we don't have volunteers and we don't have staff that could get here. So we were taking people as soon as the, as the Flood waters receded when several people came here to take them in, but uh, the city has a shelter four miles from here. We work with the city all the time, and when their when their shelter was totally full, they started bringing people over here. And here so Joe Osteen did open up his church, and I know a lot of people were criticizing him and going in on him. Um, I do think it was a little odd that they didn't open up their church, but after him explaining what was going on, then I was like, okay, but honestly, I don't even care about that. All I care about is what I can do to help. And in times like these, we do need to help our fellow man. Instead of criticizing who does what, worry about what you're doing. That's what you have to do, worry about what you're doing. And even if you can't donate, just send a prayer or send positive thoughts to the people who are actually suffering. And so how did they get you in that basket? We climbed out the window with the sliding doors and they just stopped us in. Yeah, what's your name? Jeremiah. Jeremiah, what's your, how old's your son? He's six, Jeremiah Jr. Yeah. We thank God. We thank God. And this is all you have? Yeah, this is all we got. We lost the car, all the clothes, school clothes, everything gone. Everything gone. Where do you go now? We don't know. We don't know. But you're thankful? Yeah. We thankful. God good. Jeremiah, thank you. God Jeremiah good. Jr., thank you. Man, we out here helping the old lady. Still finna drown. You good, man? Scared? We got you, though. Houston, check. Right on, we got to stick together. So look guys, I normally never get on social media and do anything like this, but I've set up a GoFundMe for the people that I know that are and have been affected by this storm. So I am begging. I have so many followers, followers on social media. If all of you gave a dollar, the number of followers that I have, that could make a difference. So I'm asking you, please, I have friends and family that have lost everything that they own. And I'm not going to bash these other foundations, but I'm telling you that these people aren't going to see that money. And they're still going to have to figure out how to start their lives over. So from the bottom of, of my heart, I give my word that I will do the right thing. But I need your help. So please, if it's just a dollar, do what you can. Please. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm going to put a link below where you can donate. You can either donate to the Salvation Army or other nonprofit organizations. Um, I'm a little skeptical of Red Cross. I'm not going to lie because they stole a lot of money from Haiti. But um, if you could find any um, nonprofit organization like Beyonce's Be Good Foundation or one organization that I like, Convoy of Hope, you could donate there. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.